Hello, in this tutorial we're going to show you how to set up your plotter in the Computer Cut program and how you can control certain functions to the plotter from the program. When you first install the program you're going to pull up a car, something like this. I'll just, we'll just go ahead and select the, the uh, driver and the passenger window like we're going to go ahead and cut it. It pulls it into the plotter dialog window here where you cut it from. And when you first hit the cut button what's going to happen is you'll get a uh, window like this that will pop up that will list all of the different plotters that are available. Since we've already installed one plotter uh, if we hit that cut button it's not going to show up. So you can, if you haven't installed a plotter when you go to cut that window is going to pop up. If you have installed a plotter and let's say you want to install another plotter which is one of the advantages of Computer Cut Pro is that you can drive multiple plotters from the program. You just go to File and then Install Cutting Devices which brings up that window there. We've already installed the GCC Jaguar 5 plotter that we sell. So we're going to go ahead and install the other type of plotter that we sell which is the GraphTech plotter. So we'll click on GraphTech and click Next. And then the GraphTech plotter that we sell is the FC9000. So we'll scroll down to the FC9000 and click Next. And what will happen is, because the plotter is not plugged in, what would happen would be it would show GraphTech USB here. There's two types of cables that you can use to connect to a plotter. The first one is a straight USB cable, which is like a, a very common printer cable. You can get these cables at uh, almost any type of electronics store. Um, and then the other type of cable is a USB to serial cable. That's the one that is a 9-pin connection on the plotter and then a USB connection on your computer. So once you determine which cable you have, click Finished and then go up to Cut and then Plotting Defaults and in here this is where you will control all the features of, of your plotter. So here we installed the GraphTech plotter. So we'll go to Setup and then if you have the GraphTech installed and you click on Ports it sh you should see GraphTech USB. But since we installed the GCC plotter first we're going to close this out and we'll go back here and we'll select the Jaguar 5 that we installed originally and we'll go back and click Setup and under Ports there's the GCC USB so if you're connected using the straight USB that's the port that you would use. Now if you are connected using a USB to serial in the drop down list here you will see it listed. The cable comes with its own driver so when it installs it should install the driver for it and it will show up in here as a COM3 or a COM4 and it'll say USB to serial. So if you're connected using that type of cable you would select that as your port here. But we're connected using a straight USB cable so you would go and click apply and then OK. So these are the default settings that you'll see. The first thing you want to make sure is the sort button is checked here. The sort is the way in which it cuts the patterns. If you don't have this checked, what will happen is if you got a pattern here and you got a pattern over here, it might cut this pattern and then go over here rather than going from this pattern to this pattern. So if you have the sort checked, it's going to start cutting the first patterns and then the second set and third set and so forth. So you need to make sure that the sort button is checked. Your tool would be your knife which is your blade. 
Your start point would be the right, which would be down here. That's where it's going to start the cut. You're cutting from the sign blank. The sign blank is this black border around here. This is the area in which you will do all of your work and, and cutting from. Smoothing, you need it to set to medium. And then another very important part is right here is your X and Y coordinates. X axis is your left to right. Y axis is up and down like that. If you go to cut this window right here, you should be able to just pull it in and hit the cut button and it should cut it without any problem. You should not have to move this around. We always see people taking this and moving this pa pattern up or um, by, let's just close this out, see people moving this up so that it doesn't cut the bottom off. You should not have to do that. Um, another way in which you can move it is by hitting the up arrow on your keyboard and tapping it a few times and as you can see it'll make it move up or down and you can move click your right arrow to move it to the right or to the left but again you should not have to do that so if you go and cut this window and it cuts off the bottom here or it cuts off a part here you can go in and you can tell the plotter to move the cutting head so that it doesn't do that. So let's say it you cut off the bottom here, so you would want this to move up, say a quarter inch, you would go in here and th this is your Y axis, so you go and you put in 0.25 and then let's say it cut off this part of the pattern here and you know let's say it needs another quarter inch so, so you would go in and put 0.25 and 0.25 and then when you go and cut this pattern it's going to artificially move it up by itself and so you don't have to do anything so this is a great tool if the plotter is is cutting off parts of your pattern here in Computer Cut Pro, you can actually control the force and the pressure on your plotter from the program here. Most people would rather do it from the plotter itself, but you can control it from within here. So if any of these are checked, that's what's going to override what's on your plotter. So if you go and you go to cut something and the plotter is the material is just flying through the plotter but you've got the speed set to a, a slower speed it might be that one of these boxes might be checked so if that happens just go in and make sure that these boxes are, are not checked and then it will not override what you have set on your plotter okay we'll close out of here and then we're going to go back to the setup now in here you want this set to the default of 72 inch width because if you have anything smaller than this in here the plotter the program is going to think that the plotter is only that size so in other words let's say you had 36 inch in here but you're actually cutting 40 inch roll film the plotter is going to think that it, or the program's going to think that the plotter is only 36 inches in width. So it will actually cut off the top of these patterns right here. So make sure that this is set to a default of 72 inches. Now you can actually pull the plotter by hit clicking on get page size and it will pull the plotter for the distance in between the two pinch rollers that you have set down on the plotter and it'll show it in here so if you're unsure if the windows that you or the patterns that you pick in here are going to be able to fit within the inside the two pinch on your plotter you can click on here and get it to pull it and then click OK and close this out and then hit control A which will select everything in here and then check the width up here 
to the pole size to make sure that this width is less than whatever you pull in there. But if you do that, you will need to make sure that you go back in and reset this to 72 inch because, and as I said, anything lower than this, it's going to think that that's the maximum width of the plotter itself. So make sure that you set it back to 72 inches. Many people like to have the material feed out after it cuts. If you wanted to do that, that's where you would adjust it here. Additional X move at N. So for instance, under the Jaguar 5, there's a groove on the front of the plotter where you can run a knife through. And that groove is at about 4.75 inches. So you put 4.75 in here and click apply and it will feed out the material 4.75 inches. Once you cut it off, you will have to manually hit the up arrow, which will move the material back up to the plotter. And then once you get it to the area where you want it to start the, the cut, you hit enter twice and it resets the origin at that point where you move the cutting head to. Under the plotter options tab, you should not have to use adjust this at all. This is where the resolution is adjusted on a plotter. If you go to cut a pattern and the pattern is cutting the wrong size, this is where you can go in to adjust it. Uh, but if you run into this problem, don't try and adjust this yourself. Call our technical support line at 800-348-3193 so that they can assist you. And then finally, as we mentioned before, you can drive a number of different plotters. So if you've got a Jaguar and a GraphTech, you can switch back and forth between the two of them. If you wanted to drive it to the GraphTech, you would just simply select the GraphTech and it should automatically have the GraphTech port already assigned to it. So you can just switch between the two plotters. So there you have it, a quick video on how to set up the plotter and how to set up some of the functions within the plotter. If you have any questions, just put it in the comments section below, or you can call our toll-free number 800-348-3193.